Hello my magical light beings and welcome all to this video today. My name is Shalita, welcome to this channel and in today's video I will be doing something different as I did this card reading for Virgo season and in Virgo season it came true like the balance of masculine and feminine energies and I had this idea to uh, tune in with both these energies and do a card reading from the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So today's video is actually going to be pick an energy and I will have my two crystals that I had in that video too so you can pick one of these crystals but if you feel like watching both of them you know <laughs> as these energies are within all of us uh, both of them and they work in harmony actually so you know their messages probably will intertwine with each other but if you feel more called to watch for example the message from the divine masculine or the divine feminine this is you can actually see this reading in many ways you know it can be a message from your inner divine masculine or feminine or just the energy however you want to see it if you maybe resonate more with the divine masculine yourself you can watch the masculine video but you know it's totally up to you uh, whatever part you want to watch or all of it I will leave the timestamps down below so you can pick uh, the first one I will do is the divine masculine and then the divine feminine and I already pre-shuffled some oracle cards that are going to uh, be the message from or our inner divine masculine or our inner divine feminine. So you can pick one of these and then I will start the reading. So starting off with the divine masculine <laughs> with this crystal, I received these crystals from my grandpa and he gave them both to me as then I really saw uh, the balance of these energies uh, within these crystals so it's very cool and the divine masculine correlates with the right side of our body so to know that as well you know that uh, I thought about this with wearing crystals for example if you wear bracelets what kind of crystal you wear on your right side would probably have effect on your divine masculine energy so that's very cool with everything that i am saying in this reading choose your own discernment but of course it was divinely guided towards you in this present moment but of course choose your own discernment and i will look into these cards i have this pile right here with some cards that we are going to look into i already saw some of them as i was shuffling but <laughs> let's start so we have the first card as new beginnings so if you're watching this a new beginning is upon you and a divine masculine within you is saying you are right now starting a new beginning you know the sun is rising again maybe you're coming out of a lot of darkness or you're experiencing more and more light in your life again and this is such a beautiful energy to me it's a very fresh energy you know it's a fresh start so with this card coming true, know that something new is on the horizon for you or you already are experiencing a new beginning. But to know that the divine masculine within you is saying, you know, it's time for a new beginning as well. To allow yourself to start over or do something new or try out something new or anything of the smell. And then the next two cards are going to show me the energy of this new beginning. So we're going to see. We have... Ooh, this is very cool. So we have the Caring Innovator. This is the Page of Pentacles. This is literally the beginner. <laughs> the Caring Innovator. So this is really, really about taking it step by step, as you can see on the card, to be patient with yourself as the Page of Pentacles is the most slow moving energy in the tarot deck um so you know really take it very slow as we have a new beginning things are just starting uh the things that you are planting the seeds that you are planting you know those take time to grow to water and with the caring innovator you will have those innovative ideas with the caring innovator you will receive the solutions and the uh, creative ideas to you know take the next step on your journey or to maybe start something new as well um, and that you hold something valuable that can grow majorly if you take the time for it and we have the manifestor of wealth oh my god this is the king of pentacles so this makes so much sense to me if i see this actually if you see this you know 
first card is the page that is like the beginner it's just a student and then we have a king um the manifester of wild i call the king of pentacles um and he is major manifesting uh goals you know he's very iconic in creating wealth and uh physical manifestations so what i'm seeing you know it's a new beginning you know you're starting off as the page of pentacles to become this manifester of wealth you know and that you're attracting that and that you're manifesting that if you just keep uh, taking care of what your foundation is you know what kind of foundation are you lay are you laying because that will be the, the foundation where you build up for example your house or whatever that is as you are of course um your house your body you know you are the foundation of your life your reality but it makes kind of sense kind of funny that's coming true that i'm talking about building with the divine masculine you know that is really the energy of the divine masculine masculine so your inner divine masculine is saying keep going keep putting in your effort keep building that what you want to grow in your reality you know what you focus on you will grow and with a caring innovator it's to really um i say this to be patient and to know that it, even if things still seem very like tiny or not even yet uh, above the ground you know they have not yet um you don't really see any sign of that you are manifesting know that you will receive more uh, clues to this as the Sun is rising so you know more things will be shown to you maybe a lot of things were hidden from you but know that more things will be revealed as the path is to more light um, so this is so beautiful follow this so much so beautiful so a new beginning in regards to you creating um something very stable and secure for yourself and that's so beautiful with the divine masculine <laughs> i love that so much okay and then the next card we have is the knight of cups <laughs> look at this wow so we have a page, we have a knight, and we have a king that literally are all the three, um, you could say, kind of masculine energies in a tarot deck. So that is even more cool to me. Wow. So I see that going from the page to the king means to actually tune in with the knight that is going to be, you know, your middle energy, if this makes sense to all of you watching, you know that. You go from a page to a knight to a king and so you know it is really about the practical uh, steps here as well to take those steps that are needed but with the knight of cups is really about allowing your heart to guide you and um as we can see in these both these cards right here you can see like this rainbow energy these colorful energies to really i am getting to allow your colors to shine to not um you know to show every part of yourself in this journey that will really bring in that major uh, manifestation that you are manifesting right now and with the knight of cups this is about your heart to follow your heart and to listen to it to listen to the guidance that you are receiving uh, in regards to this new beginning and um, to allow those subtle knowings to guide you and not allow the mind for example to overrule you as this card actually is about you really allow your heart to guide you and not so much your mind but with these earth cards here it's kind of a balance of course because these are some very practical energies <laughs> so this is so cool it's so beautiful and yeah to allow your cup to overflow to open up uh, as more will be opening up to you of course you know if we hide a lot of stuff we will see the same thing happening in our reality we will see that not a lot of stuff is being revealed to us because are we actually revealing ourselves to the world to ourselves to those we love wow okay <laughs> this is so cool we have you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north yeah this makes so much sense you know with these cards uh with this gradual energy right here literally that you could be a page you could be a knight or you could already be a king right now and all of them is that you are already doing it and that you're already creating and you're already manifesting and bring something beautiful in, into this reality 
and to stop overthinking what I was saying, you know, to get out of your mind and to tune in with your heart, to allow that to guide you once again towards more light. Yeah, <laughs> follow that will light you up. That's what this channel is about, of course. Keep facing your true north. Keep, you know, keep looking forward. That is very important with this new beginning. Keep looking forward because all these cards are about gradual improvements and that is happening if you of course focus on looking forward and you know the steps you can take in this present moment and know that you are laying a very beautiful foundation for yourself but the last two cards are going to be the two guidance cards with this energy for you in this present moment so let's see yeah i knew it confirmation goals this is so cool we literally have manifesting once again if you're watching this, the Divine Masculine wants you to know that you are manifesting currently, right now. Even if you feel like nothing is happening, a lot, a lot is happening actually. There's a lot of beautiful stuff on the horizon. Divine investing, manifesting, the coin. Physical manifestation is very close, I cannot, like what the heck. The creative energy you give out will come back tenfold. Physical manifestation is very close. This card is my sign that, you know, if you are manifesting money, for example, as it is the coin card, if you are manifesting money, you are <laughs> very close and maybe not like you know this is one like big uh, manifestation all of a sudden out of nowhere could be you know everything is possible but i see with this energy that's very gradually is going to be improving for you so you will already see the signs you will already see some stuff coming in for you and that's very cool and the creative energy you give out will come back Ten folds, so know that as well. But divine investing to to see where are you investing your time in, because you know that's what you will reap and that's what you will grow, and that is very important. Is reading <laughs> I'm seeing, you know, and we have of course, oh my god, attaining knowledge. Eight, the eagle. You hold a lot of value, share your knowledge and insights with the world. There's an infinite supply. Yeah. So there's this energy I'm seeing that, that to know with the cup, because that's what I was seeing with this cup, you know, that's overflowing. This is not going to stop overflowing because that cup of the Knight of Cups is love and love is not something that will run out. And with this energy right here to really know that, you know, your energy will not run out, but that you have to take care, of course, of yourself <laughs> to... Um, see where you are putting your energy in and that you're not like giving energy towards things that you actually don't want to grow or that are i don't want to say you know yeah this is really worth your time of course that's very important but with the eagle right here is to really know that you hold a lot of value in whatever you're doing and that you should keep going with that and to keep sharing and um, as well, you know, your knowledge and insights, uh, if you receive those, to share those with the world, to not hold back, to <laughs> show all of you, you know, with the colors that I was talking about. Um, and with eights, you know, it's infinity, things come back to you for sure with this energy, I'm so like, wow. Um, and it's cool too that, you know, if we have had the Knight of Pentacles coming out because we have the Knight of Cups, if that one had come out, this really showed me that you have to be so patient because Pentacles is the most slow moving energy and is really built in, um, I could say even a lifetime as the King of Pentacles really worked years and years to uh, be where he is. But with the Knight of Cups here, can be um, maybe... A little bit more unexpected as well coming your way as you know this is an emotions card too and emotions can go come to the surface out of nowhere so you know i'm seeing that too but as well still there's a lot of patience needed and with the eagle higher perspective know that you can tune in with the higher perspective and um to uh, rise above the thoughts um of overthinking and to know that you already are on the right uh path and with the ego you know flying above it's with the horizon here you know the ego will see that there is light at the horizon if we are standing totally on the ground we maybe don't see that because of these mountains are blocking the light but the ego already knows that the sun is about to come up so uh, keep uh, holding that vision of, you know, that uh, even if we don't see anything on the horizon just yet, does not mean there's nothing on the horizon. So, 
<laughs> that was the message for today from the divine masculine from our inner divine masculine thank you so much for tuning in today uh if you want to like if you want to subscribe to the channel that would be so amazing and we're going to continue on with the next message so if you chose this crystal today or a message from your inner divine feminine this is going to be your reading for today as i said in the first reading if you are still here with me you know still watching both of these readings i got these from my grandpa he gave them both to me and then i really saw that they were holding so much of that balanced energy and you know the divine masculine divine feminine is so cool to me and uh, as well with whatever i'm sharing in this video use your own discernment of course um uh, but know that if you're here that this message was divinely guided towards you and we're gonna start these are actually i did not even say that these are blue agate and <laughs> pink agate yeah that's it but let's start we're gonna see i already saw some cards popping out when i was shoveling but um i did not see this card actually so i'm very curious that's already a message from your divine feminine be curious you know <laughs> be curious we're gonna see wow oh my god that's beautiful we have opportunity so your divine feminine inner divine feminine is telling you that you know an opportunity is here for you and as well as to know that every present moment is actually an opportunity for us um <laughs> so cool that we have the moon coming through though and um the stars actually the divine masculine had the stars too in the cards so the galaxies <laughs> it's written in the stars <laughs> that's very cool very beautiful we're going to see as that's just what we have right now we have an opportunity but we're gonna see with these two tarot <laughs> with these two tarot cards what this opportunity is about the energy um from the divine feminine Ooh, we have the awakening we have a butterfly we have transformation so if you chose this reading specifically know that you're going through a transformation for sure an awakening of some sort that is really allowing you to um spread your wings maybe that's your opportunity to spread your wings and fly that's the song i'm hearing <laughs> and the next card is the wise one wow okay okay <laughs> that's so cool so this is actually the judgment card and this is the hermit card um so with these two coming out together wow so cool yeah that's what i was getting with the divine feminine you know you see this person in this card just laying in the grass um really that surrendering energy to really allow things to come to you um but with this one wisdom you are attaining powerful wisdom actually it was in the first pile too so that's kind of like of course both divine masculine and feminine hold a lot of wisdom but know that you are awakening to more of who you are and as well with the wise one the hermits this can be an energy of or you are um moving back how can you say this you are kind of like going back with yourself to you know see for yourself uh learn about yourself to attain knowledge or you are the one to come out of the cave and to be the light for others to shine that and to share so there can be both ways and with the judgment card rising above a certain situation and um seeing the higher perspective both of them have that is so cool seeing the higher perspective as this person is laying on a mountain again really see pretty far away so know that um <laughs> wow with this opportunity so an opportunity will be revealing itself to you in perfect timing of course and we will see some more information like wow what is this, is this about this is so cool with this card i always think about you know opportunities come out of the most unexpected place so really know that with the divine feminine it's the divine feminine it's a really unlimited energy and really it's this energy of freedom um so know that you know the opportunities are uh there's an unlimited potential in our opportunities in whatever opportunity uh you are you know looking for this can be anything actually in this car in these cards like if i see these <laughs> like 
there's so many things as these are two major arcana cards wow okay so if you chose this major 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 energy for you whoa we have the two of pentacles Ooh, so we have once again pentacles coming through we had that with the divine masculine too so with the two you know the balance that's what i'm seeing here of course butterfly yeah transformation an opportunity for transformation is for sure happening in your reality that makes total sense and um yeah maybe making a certain decision um to maybe have the opportunity to to go a certain way or to go a certain path but you never actually really have to you know if you have multiple things you love to do to not limit yourself as well wow then we have the infinity sign literally that was in the first reading too they really really connect well with each other so beautiful <laughs> amazing and we have play have fun celebrate don't be so serious of course the more feminine is saying that that's so cool i love that so much look at that so if you are seeing this if you have had this energy of the two of pentacles maybe being a little bit hard on yourself or doing a lot or um i literally hear overworking <laughs> like that's literally what i'm hearing so um the divine feminine is asking from you uh your inner divine feminine is saying play let go for a moment rest surrender allow because opportunities will not pass you by what is meant for you will not pass you by she's saying and yeah this is so cool that she's like sitting there she's like really uh, allowing herself to move and dance in a certain way you can maybe hear a dog outside <laughs> and have fun yeah have fun let go of the seriousness as the hermit can be maybe a little bit of serious energy and judgment too um yeah once again allowing to drop out of the mind into your heart and <laughs> to enjoy uh, life and to uh, what am i hearing to enjoy life's pleasures because that's very cool that's coming through for the divine feminine play just the word play that's your key right now play <laughs> and then i have two guidance cards from the divine feminine for you right now we have intuitive connecting trust the i yeah really this is really a trust trusting energy this reading you know it's really trust you see the situation clearly trust is yours to know you know the vibes so no trusting your own intuition divine feminine you know that intuition is very strong trust in it trust your intuition wherever is guiding you whatever opportunities are presented to you you know where, what opportunities to take you will use your discernment you know and maybe that's the message you know your judgment to use your judgment in a way that is beneficial in a situation because you know we can judge or we can judge in a way of that we use our discernment so trust the eye third eye <laughs> that thing is powerful you know so intuitive connecting to connect with yourself and that can really um be true just having fun and celebrating for a moment and letting go of whatever is stressing your mind in a sense Know that you can see the situation clearly too. If you may feel like you don't, you can actually um, rise above it and see it for what it is. And we have 11. Re re la la. <laughs> Remembering significance. The hedgehog. You're a gift to this planet. Be your own biggest fan. You came here to be you. Wow. Beautiful. You're a gift. Divine feminine is... Um, really coming through saying to you like this card I made this when I really like the message I saw the hedgehog in my reality when I really was feeling down and when I kind of had a moment of that I forgot why I was here and then I had this 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 moment this like light bulb moment of oh my god you know i am deserving of being here and i'm important and so are you and that's when i saw the hedgehog crossing the street um and it was so cool to me that's when i made this card and you know to know that you are a gift to this planet and that however you look however um you sound like whatever 
you know you believe in whatever it is you know that all does not matter you're still significant you're still important you're still a gift to this planet even if nobody else believes in you you can believe in yourself and um just because nobody else is seeing your potential does not mean you don't have potential and um and that's what i had in that moment i was like wait a minute even if nobody is seeing me i can see myself and say you know you deserve to be here and of course it's a fine feminine is that energy she really is that reminder for us to know that we are significant and that no matter whatever however we show up it is valuable and it is worthy of love and as well, you know, you hold a lot of wisdom within yourself to really tune in with it and that you will <laughs> attract very magical events in your reality. Uh, if you see this, magical events are happening in your reality and if we are serious, that is really going to lower our energy field and feel maybe a little bit drained. So know that the Divine Feminine is saying to you, you know, if you have experienced that with the Two of Pentacles, maybe a little bit of exhaustion or anything of this matter, to allow yourself to have some fun for a moment, to really see what would it be that would be fun to me right now and to allow yourself to do that, you know, to maybe pull back from some stuff and to allow yourself to have that moment of fun so that was such a beautiful reading thank you so much for listening today if you want to like if you want to subscribe to the channel that would be so amazing and let me know how this resonated and i wish you all such a beautiful day <laughs>